I can have so many plants up here. I'm dying. It's so cool. So here on their first floor is uh, three small rooms. It's also an architectural and if you haven't figured it out already, that is exactly the vibe we are going for. So we have decided to go check out everything we found remotely interesting online. It's true. I've talked about it a few times here on the channel. We are looking to buy a house. And today I'm taking you house hunting. We are looking at two different, very different potential new homes. I'm quite, um, I'm very excited. I have been renting for about the last six years and pretty much since Moving in with my boyfriend, we have been talking about buying a house together. But while one of us kind of wants something that is in good condition, something where we can just move in right there, I am probably more into a project. But what we both want is really something architectural from the 60s or 70s. I might be a little more critical to the decisions people have made to the interior. I mean, if there's just anything remotely wide kitchen like, I don't like it. Sorry. I'm not for a wide kitchen. I really, I, I'm, I really want something where they haven't remodeled anything in the house. Let's just say I don't always agree with the choices people have made. So really it's just better if the major rooms like the kitchen and bathroom are in the original state. So let's go look at the two new potential homes. The first one we can bike. So let's stick out the bike and uh, head over to the first home. So we have decided to go check out everything we found remotely interesting online. Which is why we're here today. Checking out property number one, which is actually an, an apartment. But uh, it, looked, uh, it looked promising. So uh, let's head on in and uh, take a look. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights This is the first of two balconies. It's the smallest one, but it's super cute. I could easily see myself sit right here on a little morning coffee and just enjoy the view the silence and waking up peacefully and I will keep on searching for my highs you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling so here on their first floor is uh, three small rooms 
I think we would at least take down one wall so we could have one big and then a smaller walk-in closet which would be the dream uh, but for now three rooms three small rooms and a bathroom it's pretty cool wow this is cool this balcony is everything it's so unique to have a balcony like this in the middle Copenhagen. There's room for a barbecue, a sitting area, and a lounge area. That's that's pretty cool. And I can have so many plants up here. I'm dying. It's so cool. My eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So uh, that was home number one. An apartment, does it got potential? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think it has something. I like the architecture, I like the three stories, and of course I love the balcony on the top floor. What I don't like and what you can't see on the pictures or in the video from the inside is that right out there is a pretty big road it's sunday so the traffic is so so but everyday life this is busy so that would be my biggest concern also there is no storage at all in this apartment so where would i put all my stuff all my shoes all my clothes Big, big decisions, big questions. property is always stressful and currently here in Denmark and I guess it's very similar everywhere the interest rate has gone up from pretty much zero percent at the beginning of the year to now almost five which means that we as buyers can borrow less money from the bank but also the increasing prices on oil, gas, transport and groceries and so on is all impacting prices on houses. As a first time buyer, this is not the ideal situation, but it could really turn out to our benefit also. Because we quickly see desperate house owners dropping their prices because they need to sell right now and can't wait for better times. So this could be the time to make a very good buy. The current market also gives you more time to think. You don't need to put in an offer at the spot as you kind of had to just six months ago where everything sold before it even got on the market. Okay, property number two. It's also an architectural. And if you haven't figured it out already, that is exactly the vibe we are going for. This property is 169 square meters. It's, they're asking also 6 million. It has one big living room and four smaller bedrooms and two bathrooms, a kitchen and a on paper, really, really nice dining room. I'm really looking forward to uh, check this one out. It's in here.
it's very unique. It's uh, a lot more of the vibe we are looking for. I really, um, I really like this one. Of course, there's still stuff that needs to be done. The kit, the white kitchen. I'm not a fan of the white kitchen, so uh, it definitely needs a new kitchen. Also, the flooring in the dining area, but that overhead lighting above the dining table that's that's insane and the outside the backyard where you could sit with friends and family i'm in i'm all in for this one i think personally this is my favorite but i'm really dying to know which one you like best leave a comment down below and that's it maybe uh next week we're a house owner who knows at least, until next time.